Aloha. You're watching F5 On Demand. I'm Senior Technical Marketing Manager Peter Silva. We're here at VMware PEX, the Partner Exchange 2014 in San Francisco. We're in booth 208. If you're at the show, please come on by. We announced uh, some optimized solutions for Horizon View. Yeah. Actually, we're announcing it tomorrow. Tomorrow is the official But you're getting yeah. the sneak peek right here today, aren't we, Paul? And so I have uh, Paul Pindell. He's a solution architect handling the F5 VMware uh, business development relationship, right, Paul? That's correct. That's correct, yeah. It's always good to see you, Paul. Good to see you, too. It's been, uh, what, probably four, or five, six, maybe six months since we've done one of these. Yeah. We did the PCOIP one, so if you watch that, that's him. Yeah. So this time around, I thought we'd get a little more technical into the solution for Horizon View, because it is kind of cool. Yeah. And so I thought maybe why don't you walk us through, we have a little whiteboard here, kind of talk about what goes into a typical view deployment, sure. and then maybe let's look at how the new solution slightly changes the architecture, doesn't it, a little? It simplifies that architecture and provides a little higher security yeah. posture for it. So, yeah, we'll do that. What, what I've got here uh, drawn is a, a before picture. So this is yep. the architecture that you would see using an F5 local traffic manager in a, an F5 Horizon View deployment using security servers in your DMZ. So this is a normal solution you'd see. You'd have external clients, those external clients come into the DMZ through a firewall, they talk to the F5 LTM, traffic goes to here. We make decisions about to which security server we're gonna send that traffic. Mm -hmm. You know, load balancing decisions. We send that traffic to one of those security servers. One of the things in this architecture that's, that's a specific to view and wouldn't be in a lot of other architectures is that the security servers and are paired one to one with their connection servers. Mm. A connection server lives in the main server VLAN, yep. the main server network. Security server resides in the DMZ. And the, and the security server is what it says it is, right? It's to provide the security for the environment. I, it, correct, it provides security for the environment. So the traffic hits the security server, it passes the authentication information onto the connection server. The connection server is the one that talks to Active Directory, DHCP, DNS, those sorts of things, gets the, the underlying stuff that's necessary for a view desktop to, to function. Yep. So it's the connection server that talks to that. Security server also, the other thing it does is it proxies the PC over IP protocol. It's a secure gateway. Yep. So traffic that comes in, it decrypts it at the security server, passes it through, um, it re-encrypts it, makes sure it's a known good user, passes it on through. So it provides security. And this is a normal external clients coming in. Mm -hmm. Internal clients in, the, in this situation would usually come from internal, they'd hit the very same LTM. The LTM is going to have an interface on the internal network as well, so it's going to span the DMZ. We're a hardened security device. That's a good thing. Mm -hmm. we're, we're, we're trusted to be there in the DMZ and to span the DMZ into the internal networks. And then we're going to make a load balancing decision, and instead of sending it to a security server, because an internal trusted client doesn't need to be proxied, we're going to send that directly to a connection server. Got it. Interesting thing here, notice we've got three security servers and three connection servers paired one to one. We have to use two other ones, separate ones from these connection servers for internal clients. Got it. They've got they've got to be different. So and the pairs to provide the high availability. And the pairs to provide high availability. So the F5 can, can load balance and provide that high availability between the two. So that's why you've got two of them here, three of them here. Usually you would have three security servers paired one to one with your connection servers. That's a normal environment. That's, that's the way it's been done until version 11.4. We release what we're calling our PC over IP proxy. Mm -hmm. We work with Teradici. So uh, we signed an agreement with Teradici. We work with Teradici and VMware. Teradici owns the PC over IP protocol. We understand that protocol now. We can now function as the security server. So an F5 device can now function as the security server. Changes the architecture a little bit. And, and, and I can see as, as the, the amount of employees that need VDI access, this can actually grow exponentially out, could you? Yeah, it could. The maximum number of connection servers you can have, though, is five mm. for a view pod. So if you're going to have external users and internal users, you have to balance how many are coming in remotely and how many are trusted internal clients. Right. Maybe you'd have two connection servers and three connection servers for the internal. 
but you have to balance that. And it means that you can't grow your environment as large as you might want to when you've got both external and internal clients got coming it. in. Okay. So it, it, it kind of hampers the, the ability to the design there. So let's look at the aftershot. The aftershot. So if the aftershot, give me a second here, we'll grab the, the eraser. We're not gonna use an LTM. We're gonna end up using an red pen, please. An F5 APM, so the Access Policy Manager. Yep. So we're gonna use that, um, and this function is gonna provide, this APM has built into it the PC over IP um, secure gateway functionality. What that means is that we no longer need these security servers in the DMZ. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. The advantage of that, a couple advantages, each of these runs on Windows. 2008. So no longer do you have to provide a Windows license for each one of these. So Got you're it. saving some money there. Each one of these needs to have a public addressable IP address. So one on the outside that the public can get to. No longer need to have that IP address. You're saving IP addresses. Each one of these has to have an external DNS entry. No longer need that DNS entry. Each one of these needs to have uh, SSL certificates. And, and that's an, a whole nightmare in and of itself, but no longer need to have individual SSL certificates. And, and we ain't even talking about plugging it in yet and the rack space and all the other oh, stuff. Yeah, and the power, the cooling, all that good stuff. So, the, you know, these would usually be virtual. So it means that those ESXi hosts that these would be running on mm -hmm. can now perform other functions like providing virtual desktops that are needed. Ah. So, yeah, we're, we're lowering the cost of the environment. We're simplifying the environment. The F5 APM is a hardened security device. Um, I mean, we're built to be in the DMZ. Yep. It, that's what we're built to do. Windows 2008, not built to be in the DMZ. It's a lot that has to go on to harden a Windows 2008 device. A lot of patching that has to go on every right. first Tuesday of every month. <laughs> and and you, you don't want to have to do that and bring that down all the time. So, so now in this scenario, we get rid of these. Yeah, rid of all that stuff. And this goes direct to the connection server, right? Direct to the connection servers, you're correct. So we can now go direct to these connection servers. Other nice thing is, since we're there's no security servers, we don't have to pair them one-to-one, -one, we can get rid of these connection servers as well because the trusted connections will go to these very same connection mm -hmm. servers. So you're reducing the number of uh, connection servers. Again, a Windows license or two that you're not having to use. Great benefit there. And, and with the big IP full proxy architecture, that then allows us to decrypt, inspect, manipulate, whatever we need to whatever do to the PCOIP proxy. Or whatever or we need to do to the PCOIP protocol. We know, because we have the ability to decrypt that protocol, we know what's going on there. We know that the protocol is, that the connection is coming from an, a known good client right. um, that has been authenticated. And we only allow that PCOIP protocol into, inside, through the DMZ when we know it's a known good user. If, if they're being attacked on that protocol, we don't allow it through because it doesn't have the correct credentials within the oh, encrypted right. protocol. Yep. That's pretty cool stuff. Yeah, yeah it is. I think so too. It's, it's been, uh, you know, at 11.4 is when we released this. It's been in the market for nine months now. Mm -hmm. What we've done Tomorrow, tomorrow is announced. Creeps in this penny yes. from day to day to the last syllable of reported time. Yes. So we've announced four new SKUs mm -hmm. that are specifically for view. So they will be able to be used in a view environment. They're at different bandwidth levels and different access session levels to approximate different sizes of normal view environments. So we'll have a, a very small, a demo environment that will allow 10 access sessions to happen. $95 a pop. Wow. We've nice. lowered the prime and like bargain basement price just to make sure that what we're trying to do here with this new program is we want to compete against Citrix. We're going to take it to Citrix with this with this solution. That's what we're trying to do. We want to beat Citrix. F5 plus VMware together beats Citrix. Yeah. And and that's the that's the goal of this whole program. There were there were two things that were inhibitors to making that happen. The perception that a Citrix Netscaler plus Citrix Zen desktop solution was easier to deploy and as a much simpler architecture to, to deal with. 
not the case. We did quite a bit of very detailed competitive analysis in the lab, installing Citrix and F5 deployments and VU deployments about 20 times. Yeah. Just to make sure we, we had it right, we knew what was going on. Be fair, right? Be fair. I'm going to make a claim. Be yeah. fair about it. Make sure. And, and it's really not. They're pretty even. Um, yeah. The Citrix actually was a little bit more difficult, maybe, because I understand how to do the F5 deployment, sure. but, you know, just a little bit more. To, it's not appreciably easier as the the FUD out there would, would, yeah. uh, would indicate. The other was that because Citrix, um, Zen Desktop, and Netscaler come from the same company, they had the ability to discount one or the other sure. to to be price competitive. And we found with these new SKUs, e even before these new SKUs, we found at the higher end that it was cheaper for F5 plus U than Citrix, Netscaler, Zen Desktop. Right. But now, at the low end and the high end, all the way across the board, it's cheaper to deploy F5 with you than it is to do a Citrix solution. Sweet. Yeah. So we're taking we it to Citrix. It. We love it. We've we've increased the security posture with our APM PC over IP proxy, and we've simplified the architecture with it. Yep. So those are the technical value adds, and we've got marketing and, and the business driver value adds in the, in the form of um, making sure, dispelling the myth that it is uh, more difficult, difficult to, uh, that yeah. is difficult to do. It's not. We have an IAP that makes it very simple to deploy Vue. Yep. And uh, the other business driver that we brought to the table was cost. Mm -hmm. So we've made sure that we've dispelled that rumor. Yep. And and we are not uh, being inhibited by cost anymore. Right. So, so much, much simpler, easier, quicker, more secure, and more cost-effective VDI deployment than any of the competition out there. That's why you're in marketing, much better than what I said, yes. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Paul, man. You know, you. we see each other every so often. I always love having conversations with you because I learn mm -hmm. so much from you, but I really appreciate it. Thanks. It's been good to be on. Thanks right so much. On. So I got Courtney, Courtney Harding behind the lens this time. Thanks, Courtney. Thank you. So for Courtney, Paul, yes. I'm Peter, and we're with F5 Networks. Thanks for watching. Thanks.